In today's video we're going to look at the differences between G2 and G3 characters inside Cartoon Animator and see which one will best suit your needs in your animation project. So stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Eon and welcome to my Start Animating YouTube channel. The channel that is specifically aimed at everyone that is new to animation. And if that is you, welcome. You are at the right place. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click on that little notification bell so that you can get notified every week when I upload a brand new video. And if you are new to animation or you want to start out this journey and you have never animated before and you don't know where to start, well, I've got some great news. Uh, in the description box below, there's a link just click there um, you can take a free video training you'll work alongside with me by the end of the video you would have created your very own animation and you will know the basics of animation so that you can continue creating your own animation so that is a great 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 way for you to start and because you're cr working alongside with me and creating your own video um, that is the best way to start because you'll actually have your um, first animation done and dusted and that I truly believe it's one thing to learn all the knowledge but it's one it's another thing to apply the knowledge and that is what I want you to do so if you want to start out an animation well uh, make sure to click in the description box below the um, on that link and you can take up that free video training now today we're going to look at the differences between g2 characters and g3 characters inside cartoon animator now to be honest um, it is almost like g2 characters is something of the past um, i hardly see people using it um, and I'll ask the question why <laughs> um, because G3 characters came out and they've changed G3 characters a lot they've added a lot of um, new features like the hand motions you can actually rig hands and then also um, the 360 head you can actually now animate a moving head so they've really enhance g3 characters a lot so there's a lot of benefits and i think that is why a lot of people prefer g3 characters but is g2 characters something of the past well um, let's have a look quickly so let's quickly go through the differences between the two so here i've got two characters obviously um, this one on the left is a g2 character and then this one on the right is a g3 character okay so let's go to a g2 character okay so basically a g2 character is a 3d 2d character if that makes sense so you do 2d animation but your character is 3d but it's not like 3d animation it is actually every single sprite whether it's the eye the mouth the hand the head the body every single sprite has um, 10 different angles it has like a front angle, a 45 degree angle, a 90 degree angle, so a top and a bottom angle. So uh, let me quickly show you if I click there. Now here you will see there's different angles. Uh, you'll only see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, but then obviously you have a bottom and a top angle as well that um, it doesn't show here. But if you look at this character, if I am going to move it, it changes angle, okay? So that is actually very nice. So you've got your character in different, um, in all different angles. Now, the reason why there's a top and a bottom angle, um, let me quickly show you. If you're going to animate your character, uh, let's select... So, um, I just want to see if I can't, um, okay, let's do that and let's change the angle. So what will happen is, okay, so his head changes, but 
it you can also make it so that it uh, your character bend forward and it will show the front of his um, the top of his head, or if he kicks, he's, if it's the front angle and he kicks, it shows the bottom of his foot. That's why you've got the top and the bottom angle as well. Okay, so that is basically your um, G2 character quickly explained. So it has 10 angles for every single sprite and you can then change the angle of your character so you can maybe turn around, walk to the distance, into the sunlight, something like that. That is something you can't do with G3 characters because G3 characters is only one angle. Okay, so it doesn't have the 10 different angles. It only has one angle. So if you want to animate it, you can only animate it from one angle. But um, some added extras with G3. Obviously, the first thing is the 360 head. Okay, so you can see you can animate the head so that it has 360 movement. And then also the other thing that you can also do is with your hands. You can add different hand or you can even animate the hands as well. And um, that really makes it uh, really awesome. So you can get, it's not sprites, you can actually get some hand or finger movement as well. So just a quick summary, that is the difference between G2 characters and G3 characters. Okay, so now obviously you can have a 360 head with G2 characters because you can change the angles very easily. Um, but the, the difference is that the head won't move smoothly. Okay, so um, it has very, because each um, angle is a sprite so which means as it uh, moves from one angle to the next it kind of jumps okay so it's not a smooth movement where with your um, g3 character the 360 head when you move the head it has a smooth head movement um, so basically that is the difference between g2 and g3 now, if you create your own characters, and I think this is another reason why G3 characters is a lot more popular, um, it is a lot easier to create G3 characters because you only have to create, apart from the head, uh, if you use 360 head, um, you only have to create one angle. Um, where with your G2 characters, as I've mentioned, for every single sprite, if you have... 20 mouth sprites you need to create 10 angles for each sprite so that just your mouth alone is 200 drawings just your mouth so you can understand <laughs> to create a g2 character takes a lot of work um, it is not easy um, that's why i think the g3 characters is a lot more popular and it's much easier to create and um yeah, so that is the difference between G2 and G3. So what do I use? Well, I use G3 characters. Again, it is a lot easier to create, a lot quicker. Um, and it has a lot of nice features. The hand, the 360 head, etc. Um, what I have decided, because G2 is something of... It's almost a forgotten character type in cartoon animator um, I don't see a lot of people use it but what I want to do for a future animation project that I'm planning is I actually want for each character I want to create um, a G2 and a G3 character now I'm sure you will be able to um, make them look the same um, because as you can see, you've got a forearm and a forearm, a hand and a hand, a upper arm, upper arm, um, head, head. So the body parts is all the same. Okay, so I'm sure you will be able to make the character look pretty much the same. Um, the reason why I want to do both is for 
your dialogue and close-ups. Um, you can use the G3 character because you can move the head. You can use the hands and make it look awesome. Um, but with the G2 character, you can maybe let your character look the other way. Uh, you, you can look to the back, you can walk away, um, he can dance, he can turn around, um, there's a lot more he can do. So basically by having a G2 character and a G3 character of the same character, it opens up the possibilities um, so much more for you to do things in your animation that you can't do with just a G2 or just a G3 character. Um, so that is something that for uh, for my next animation project, I'm actually thinking of, of doing this. Um, because, like I say, you open up so many new possibilities for yourself. Um, yeah, the, there's so many things that you can do. So, basically, guys, this is just a quick video. The differences between G2 and G3 and what I recommend. I think if I have to choose between one or the other then I will choose G3 um, but if you really want to create an awesome awesome animation and you don't want to be limited at all then I would say create take your character and make it a G2 and a G3 character I think it will be so much better for you uh, you'll have so much more options for your animation. You'll be able to do so much more. And that is something that I'm going to consider in the future for my 2D animations. And uh, let me know in the comments below. Have you animated with G2 or G3 characters before? Which one do you prefer? I think most of you will say G3. But if you've animated with G2 characters before, let me know in the comments. What are your thoughts? Do you like it? Um... Would you recommend G2 characters? I'd love to hear from you. So from me, Ion, I will see you guys next week with another video. God bless and happy animating.